Hi, I'm Amy Bartner from Indie.com, and we're at the Indianapolis Zoo going on a tour of love to find out how animals are different from humans. Every single pair, you know, mates for life. They actually do love each other, um, and it's called allopreening. They're basically trying to preen you know, the other ones, your feathers. Um, and and it's like we really don't see them actual actually mate that often. Kind of like do it in hiding. <laughs> what does it look like? Help me, how is it? Um, usually, the male kind of stands on top of you know, the female and stuff and inserts. So. The biggest male will get as many females as possible and he'll breed with as many as possible. So they do not mate or breed for life. <laughs> They're really affectionate animals. I mean, not even just during breeding season, they'll always rest together. Usually when you see animal sea lions in their natural environment, you're gonna see them in large groups all laying on one another and sunning together. He'll mount for, um, her from behind and they can, um, they can breed in water or on land. Just grabs a hold of her with his flippers. <laughs> Usually with sea lions, you'll have one large male with several females, or you'll house just all males together so that they, because they can be very aggressive when they're competing over their women. There's Diego trying to get the females' attention. <laughs> and they said, no, thank you. And we have eight dolphins total, Sundance being the dominant male, Chemo, which is kind of wingman or subordinate male, and then Jet's a juvenile, and then we have five females as well. They breed all year round, whenever they want to, and, they, and supposedly it is for pleasure. Females have a cycle very similar to a human female. With the meerkats, they um, scent mark, um, so they um, will rub, um, basically they have like an anal gland, and they will rub um, on um, the substrate or, or props that we have in here, like the stumps and rocks and stuff like that. And so they leave a scent. Like if the female is um, ready for breeding and she leaves a, a scent, the male can pick that up. And he and he'll know that oh hey she's you know she, it's breeding breeding time. But honestly, um, from what I've read, the female actually will refuse. She will refuse the male um, at first for breeding, even even if she's ready. Is this always? Um, it sounds like it's a it's a usual thing that the female will um, act like she's not interested. And then what happens is the, the male will actually just um, grab, grab her around the neck and then um, breeding happens after that. <laughs> what we learned at the zoo today is that although the zookeepers and zoologists will have us think that the animals are kind of dissimilar from humans, in a lot of ways they're pretty much the exact same.